Okay, so let's say you want to make a Gorilla Tag thumbnail for your videos. So the first thing you want to do is open Google or Edge or whatever you use, right? Then you want to search up photo P. I have it in the description so you can just click the link. So first you want to like go into the first link, it should be at the top. Just click on it and then click new project. Here you want to type 1280 and then here you want to type 720. That's the size for a thumbnail. So just click create. And now you have your canvas right here. So the first thing that you want to get is get your background. So I'll just drag mine right in. I have it already saved, so. Um, I'll use this one. All right, so it doesn't matter if it doesn't fit the size. What you want to do is hold shift and then just resize it until it fits. There you go. Now I have my background. So what I'll do I'll click on image, adjustments, and brightness, and contrast. And then I'll turn up the brightness a bit. And then maybe the contrast a bit more. Now it looks like this, right? So what I do, I go to filter, blur, and then you can do um, like Gaussian blur, but I'm gonna do motion blur because I think it looks okay. So just try to get it like, actually no, I'm not gonna use it. Let me just use uh, Gaussian Blur. Now, I won't blur too much, I'll blur like that. And now I have like a background. So now if you want, you can add like a picture of uh, a gorilla. So I have one right here. I'll show you guys how to make one soon. So I'll just put mine in right here. So I'll show you guys how to make a picture later on. I'll put a timestamp in the description as well. So if you add, uh, when you have your monkey here, uh, double click on this side, like, or if you don't want to have one, you don't need to, but like the text right here, double click on the side of it, and then this panel should come up. Now what you want to do is add a drop shadow to him. Maybe put it like down right here and then turn the opacity a bit down. See, now it looks like he's actually standing there. So he's not floating. If you want, you can add a glow on the side, like, outer glow you can add in then turn up the size a bit so let's say i'll do like red there we go now i have my monkey in here now i want to add a text actually i can resize him a bit that might be okay never mind i can't resize him okay so to add text you click on the t right here or you just click t on your keyboard that's the shortcut now change this, like the pixels, to 150. That should be a decent size for your text. Now change the color to white. And the font, I usually like to use luckiest guy. It's right here. So just search up luck and it should come up, like the first one. Now type whatever you like. Wanna put, put here. whatever you wanna type, I'll just put to Toria. Like that now if you want you could like uh, put the text behind the monkey a bit maybe you could resize it a bit if it's like just a small word like let's say 300 oh that's 30 300 okay that's maybe a bit too big but let's say you liked it like this way you did it like that um, I might just change it to like 270 yeah that's fine all right, like that and then a bit down. Wait, yeah, I can just actually, I know what I can do. I can get the monkey and then move him a bit up and then center the text. So like that. Now, as you can see, it's just a monkey in front of text. Now, let's say you wanna make the text look like it's laying on the ground. What you wanna do, you wanna double click the text Click warp up here, style, then you could choose shell lower. Now you can change this a bit until it like fits. So it's like kind of standing on the ground. So I'll do minus 2% and then drag it down a bit. And then I'll add a drop shadow. Now, 
if you want to add a stroke to your text, double click on the text, click stroke right there, and then drag the size up, or just change the color. I'll do black, because uh, a black's just better for thumbnails. So now I have a thumbnail right here that I can just use. Uh, and yeah, that's the first style, that one. But I might add a outer glow, but just change the transparency bit down. And then make it like... White, maybe change a bit up. Now I can put the range a bit down. Yeah, like that. I think this looks pretty cool. So now I'll show you guys how to make the monkeys in Blender. Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys how to export it. So go to file up here, then click on export as PNG, and then name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name mine tutorial. Make sure the width is um, 1280, and then the height has to be 720. And then click on save. Yeah. So, uh, to make a thumbnail, what you wanna do, you wanna go on to Steam, and then you want to uh, go to store and then search up blender this program should pop up it's the first one up oh, here wait it didn't take me to the page right here go to the page and then click download or get somewhere around here now when you have blender find it and then click launch so when you're in blender uh, you want to open a Gorilla Tag Rig. I'm going to leave one down in the description. So it's going to be titled Gorilla Tag Rig. Just download it. And then what you want to do, you want to click File, Open, Don't Save. Now you want to find uh, the Gorilla Tag Rig that I put in. You want to make sure to export the rig. So click on the uh, rig and then click Open. So now you can see I have a monkey in here. Just click, see if he's like gray, then what you want to do up here, it's like um, a blue button that's selected. Click the one next to it. Now you should get color. So this might be a bit confusing, but I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is click on the monkey. Then click on shading up here. And then you want to zoom out with your scroll wheel. Dra uh, click your scroll wheel to drag around and then zoom in on this. This is where you choose your colors. So click on primary color and then choose the color that your monkey was. So let's say I was a um, red monkey. Then if you want to, if you're like a dark red, then you can pull this down and then you'll be dark. If you were a light red, you can drag this up and then you'll be light. So I'll just choose my color, it's right there. So, now when you have this, you could add, like you see how it's like, um, slightly glowing on the sides, how do I explain it, yeah. Click on this, and then you can choose any color. So you see how the glow is like changing color? You could make it more intense by dragging this up, like that. Then you could do like, um, pink, or like blue or red. Then you, or you could just drag it down. Zero is, like if you drag fully down, there won't be any of it. But let's say you had it up here. Uh, I'm gonna do purple, like that. So you see this? Now you have your monkey in here. Now, go to, don't go to that, Never mind. Go to layout. Now, click on the monkey, where it says object mode up here, click there. And then click on, um, Never mind. Click on these black lines, then click object mode, and now click pulse mode. So now, what you can do, you can click, and then you can... Uh, you can, like, move the monkey's parts. So, I'm gonna just keep them like this, and let me select the hand, and then just drag it, just move it, the move tool is right here, but I just use select tool. So drag it up, do whatever pose you want to do. I'm going to rotate the hands so they actually fit like that. And now you have a pose, right? 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to get like the arms to be a bit downwards like that. Yeah, now you, when you have your paws, like you made your paws, you wanna export this monkey, you wanna get this like onto your PC. So what you wanna do, you wanna click on file. No, actually click on, uh, go from pause mode to object mode. And now you should get this add option. Click on add, then click on camera. Now, click on view, cameras, and then active camera. Now you can see your camera. So to make it like point at the monkey, click view, navigations, and then walk navigations. Now you can move around, then just get like, go in front of your monkey and then click with your like mouse. Now you can move around and you see it's pointing straight at him. So now what you want to do is click render up here and then render image. Now you'll see it getting rendered. Now click image and then save as uh, pictures. And then um, I'm just going to do monkey's PNG on that. There you go. Save as image. Now I have him saved, but there is a thing with it. He is, he like has a background. So to remove the background, I'll show you right now. Go on to Google, type, okay. Type in um, background remover. Now click on the first link. It should be remove.bg. Click upload image and then find your image on your PC. And then it should automatically remove the background. Now you just download it and then you'll be fine. See, now I have it. So that was how to make a thumbnail just like this one, or this was the one that I made. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and yeah, bye.